Hey guys, press the bell icon and never miss a video from Ayola DIY. Hi guys, so I have another brand new new video and this time I have a July kit for my creative scrapbook and uh, they have sent a beautiful collection by Prima Marketing called Fruit Paradise. So let's get started and see what all we have in this particular kit. First things first, let's check out the papers. So this is part of the Fruit Paradise collection, very tropical, very pretty collection. And we're going to be using these sheets, making up pretty pretty layouts and cards and tags and multiple other things. And we have this collection, very pretty, very gorgeous. I've made one layout in this collection earlier and I'm gonna make something again and this is another one from 49 market so besides these sheets we have this amazing stencil and this looks really nice uh, very nice stencil I think it's not a stencil it's like a screen like you know or maybe it's a stencil yeah it's a stencil I really like it yeah it's very detailed so we're gonna be using this stencil then, um, like always, she sends you these word stickers, which are again very useful. And we have these three packets of flowers in the kit. Gorgeous, pretty, big, very well going with the kit. And this time we have this beautiful ephemera, again Fruit Paradise collection. and. I haven't seen this one before so I'm really excited to use this and we also have some of these uh, 3x4 journaling cards so what she has done is that she split one paper pad into these uh, uh, journaling cards and what it does basically it helps because you will never use the same pad like you won't use same design like and that's why like it's better to get them in loose format so these are the journaling cards and then she has sent this beautiful chipboard collection again fruit paradise collection and uh, followed by this stamp by Finnebear and I totally love this stamp I'm gonna use this one so let's get started with the project we again are gonna be making a beautiful layout so we are going to be making a layout using this collection and for this I have chosen my paper and after that I am going to be using these American craft stencil sheets. This is the first time I am going to be using it so I am really nervous about it but I really hope it goes well. So I am going to put the sheet on my paper and after that I will take some impasto paint. Using a flat spatula, I am going to spread my paint and I really enjoy spreading paints because abstract art, art is one kind of art which I always want to do but I haven't been able to do yet. Soon, very hopefully, very soon you guys will see different kind of videos from me. Uh, I always say this but then I never do it because I get, I get very lazy but I promise I'm gonna do. I applied some texture paste and did some coloring on it which I forgot to shoot and right now i am just drying everything here once my paint is dry um, i want to give some more texture to my layout and in order to do that i will take some white paint and i will dab it all across my sheet uh, what i do is that i take some white gesso in a small palette add some water to it give it a liquidy consistency not very liquidy but then yeah thinner consistency and then i just take my paintbrush and i tap it all across this gives a lot of texture uh, illusion and it looks very pretty I do the same process using some black paint and for this I use black gesso, add water to it and dab it around my paper. Uh, people say that I usually transform the entire paper but that is my whole goal. I love doing mixed media and I love transforming the paper, uh, giving it textures and layers to it. So that is who I am and I love that style.
I have chosen the image which is going to be the focal point of my layout and for that I usually make a raised platform. I take chipboards and I stack them all together and then I add it onto a paper and on top of it I add my image. Once that part is done, I decide, like I generally do the composition, which is hidden trial, and it is usually off camera. But here you will see me that I've taken all the elements which I got in the kit and I'm putting them together. I've added some chip. So uh, my recorder went off. So I added some chipboard uh, from my stash and i generally do heat embossing on my chipboard before i add them and i really enjoy this process of composition it's very calming once my composition is done i just apply hot glue and i start attaching all the pieces together In this step you'll see me applying some embossing or heat embossing on the chipboard pieces which I have. Uh, chipboard pieces are again very versatile and once you heat emboss them they look really pretty, they go to another dimension. I'm also doing some stamping on my chipboard and after that i am going to do some stamping at random places on my layout i love stamping and i really love the whole mixed media look which you can achieve with stamping once that is done it's time to start sticking To give my layout a more fuller look, I have these uh, clay mold pieces which I have made using our redesigned molds uh, from Prima and I am going to just apply some color onto it and I will add it to my layout.
once I've applied the molds, now it's time to apply a sentiment on my layout such that it stands out and it makes some sense. I finish off the entire look by adding some art stones using some soft matte gel and then I also add some melange stones which you will see me putting in the next frame. In the end, I am using some white gesso and doing dry brush dabbing all across my layout such that everything gets neutralized. I really hope you guys have enjoyed the process of me making this layout and hope to see you all again soon. Bye!